Hey guys, welcome back to Yo-Kai Watch 2, and in this episode we begin chapter 1, High Tech Hide and Seek. And oh boy, does this chapter start out kind of differently than the other ones we've encountered so far. <gasps> Ooh! I just remembered! Why are you shouting? What's wrong with you? Yeah, indoor voices whispering, Ah, yes, well, I I had planned to wait until the time was just right, but it seems like now's as good as time as ever to tell you about the Cranka guy. Whisper, didn't you just say you just remembered? Yeah, that sentence doesn't make any sense. <laughs> um... Explain yourself. Uh, anyway, I wanted to tell you about making more yokai friends. Dude, a little too close. I can smell your breakfast. Let's head to the sacred tree on Mount Wildwood. I'll give you the details there. Alright, sounds good to me, man, but jeez, lay off the personal space in Jabonion. Just sitting on my bed. I've decided to move in here, Nyan. Hum hum. Huh? What, what are you talking about? Actually, I was chased from my old home, Nyan. Chased out? I've always lived near the crosswalk. One day when I got home... What the heck? My spot was taken over by some jerks I've never seen before! There's been rising ghosts stuck to locations. Good homes are hard to find. I don't have anywhere else to go. That's why I decided to come live here. Well, you could have asked me first, you but uh, whatever. Poor thing. Yeah, I guess you can stay here. <laughs> you don't take up a lot of room, and I wonder. Now nah, we'll worry about that later, but something unique to Yokai Watch 2 and future Yokai Watch games is now, instead of using Whisper as our traveling companion, look at him down there. He's so charming, majestic, perfect. Yeah, we can use your Banya now, and he freaks out. <laughs> Love that so much, but uh, yeah, now Jabanyan can follow us around. Pretty darn cool, and you wish to dismiss your ever so capable butler for another yokai! Nate, are you sure you're sound mind right now? Y yes, I'm sure, yeah, just for right now, I kind of want to just bring Jabanyan with me. No offense, Whisper, and I feel kind of bad, and alright, Mom, I'm gonna go Mount Wildwood and talk to spirits, peace out, but uh, yeah, I don't know. People really dislike Whisper, and I don't hate him. It's just, I don't know. I kind of want to change things up a little bit. And hold on a minute, Nate. What's up? Even yokai need proper nutrition. Take these. Consider this a special gift of service of your yokai butler. Even though I totally just bailed on you. All right, we got some plum rice balls, and apparently plum rice balls are not that tasty, which is why they're so common. I learned that a couple days ago. And yeah, when your yokai aren't feeling so hot, give them some food. It'll make them feel better. Yeah, kind of. Cool. And if you give them your favorite food, then they like it a whole lot and heals them for more. But now that we've taken care of that, it's time to learn about every mud. It's a handy convenience store where they have everything. But not the best food. Those are bought at specialty shops like Banter's Bakery. And we'll probably hit that place up pretty darn soon. But for right now, it's time to go to Mount Wildwood to check out the Cranky Kai machine. And technically, even this incarnation of Nate, if you want to call it that, wouldn't know what the Cranky Kai is since at the memory store we kind of got one from talking to the Mr. Knickknack. And who on earth was that guy? He was so mysterious. And I'm not talking about the Yokai tribe. <laughs> all right, that was the worst joke of all time. But yeah, it just seemed kind of weird. I don't I don't know what's up with him. Well, I guess we hope I hope we find out soon, but yeah, Mount Wildwood is just north of our house, and oh man, I can't wait to hear that theme again. Ugh, it takes me back. I don't think I'll honestly ever get tired of this. Just, I don't know, it's kind of just homey, you know? Just makes my mind feel at ease. But yes, the Cranky Con Machine, one of my favorite aspects of this whole game. I want to get to it as quickly as possible. Look at your body on the road. Oh my god, he's so adorable. But yeah, I can't wait any longer. Let's check out the Cranky... What the heck? Huh? What's wrong, Nate? I can't go any further. What's going on? Oh, come now. That's ridiculous. Let's get going. Yeah, come on, Nate. Quit joking. What the heck? See, I can't get by. Peculiar. Must be the work of a yokai. It's not my line, and use your yokai watch to investigate. Uh, alright, on it, boss. I mean, Whisper's kind of my boss, right? Well, he's more my butler, but yeah, there's a yokai here, and oh man, not this guy. Crud. He's blocking our path. Like a blockade. I wonder what the yokai. <laughs> alright, I need to shut up, my goodness. Hmm, I'm not letting you pass. Whoa, Whisper, what kind of yokai is this? He had a nameplate, Nate. You should have read it. Hmm, oh. 
One moment, please. Oh, this is a troublesome yokai. His name is Blocade. Blocade puts everything he's got into blocking people's paths. He often the culprit when you hear someone say something like, I finally had decided to confess my love, but my feet just won't move. Oh, wow, that's terrible. Should we try to talk it out? Or fight and then talk? Or maybe talk and then fight? What, fight? I'm fine with just trying to talk it out. Well, you've got both Jabanyan and Brushido now. I'm sure it'll be fine. If you want to pass through here, you'll have to defeat me. Why are you blocking this path anyways? Is that just like what you do on your days off? But uh, anyways, I guess talking isn't an option, so we gotta battle, and there are four aspects of Yokai battle. Attack, technique, guarding, and in spirit. And also you can loaf around, but that's not really an action and kind of just a byproduct of being lazy, but yes. As you'll see in this battle, our Yokai will automatically either attack, use magic, and spirit the enemy, or guard, and the opponent's guarding, and yeah, Blocade is a tough tribe, Yokai, and that's kind of all he does, and Jibanyan going for the Inspiritment. Okay, so the way Inspiritments work here, they're basically debuffs. They have different effects depending on which Yokai uses them. Jibanyan basically just decreases the stats a bit, and wow, we already beat him. My goodness. Also, when an opponent is Inspirited, you can attack him and fill up your Soul Gauge, which we'll talk about later. And Brushido's like ending animation. So funny, man. But yeah, we'll get our EXP and our Leaf Rice Ball. Neat. I, uh, could I remove the leaf to eat the rice? <laughs> Seems kind of nasty and... Hey, you're not bad. I'll let you pass. You did it, Nate. You managed to persuade him. There are so many tricks to yokai battles. We'll have to get reacquainted with them little by little. Indeed there are. He's not joking. There's actually a lot to the combat, but... Some people don't see it through. Anyways, enough of my complaining. Thanks for letting me buy, Blocade. It pains me to say, but I'll allow you to pass. I guess. All right. You you want, you want to become friend? Okay, I guess not, <laughs> but now that we have removed that obstacle, literally, there's nothing stopping us from going to the tree at Mount Wildwood. Oh, man. This takes me back to a lot of trying to get certain yokai out of here and them never appearing, and we made it to the sacred tree. Okay, so tell me, why are we here? Of course, you see, there's actually a very easy way to befriend some yokai. And that's the Cranky Kai! I'm talking about this prize machine, of course. According to legend, a famous monk crafted this device. Inside, a great number of yokai are sealed away. If you free a yokai, that yokai will surely want to be your friend. <laughs> it's so easy. Are you sure? I mean, what if a weird yokai pops out? Then what? Your worries are totally unnecessary. Just use a selector coin. Wait, really? Okay, this is new. A select a coin? With this, you can choose which yokai comes out of the Krankakai. That's convenient. Guess I should try it. Wait a minute. This select a coin is extremely rare. It's one of a kind. Usually whether or not you get the yokai you want is up to chance. However, with this coin, you're guaranteed to get the one you want. So, before you use the coin, I think carefully about which yokai you want. Okay, got it. And yes. For once, this is a pretty unique thing. We get to pick which yokai we want out of the Krankakai machine by using this very special coin. However, be careful because you're only gonna get one of these, so make sure it counts. But don't worry, none of these yokai are super duper rare or anything. So we get to choose from Rough Raft, Mangy Mutt, and Tattletail. Now, the highest rank here is Tattletail. However, rank is not everything. Currently, Tattletail. She really only heals Yokai, and Mangimut's more of an inspirator and physical attacker. However, Rough Raff is not only bulky in the defense department, but man, he hits like a truck, and his skill isn't too bad either. So you know what? We're gonna be picking him as our first Yokai out of the Krankakai machine. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty happy to see this guy again because, well, I don't wanna spoil too much, but let's just say he'll be important for something a little bit later, and there he is, Rough Raff. Man, I was sick of life on the inside. You and me, we're gonna rule this town. Uh, sounds good to me. Rough Raff, gotta get rough. Heck yeah. So now that Rough Raff is on our team, not gonna lie, we're gonna be pretty darn strong. And honestly, I recommend everyone get this yokai because, well, you'll find out soon. But let's just say his unity bonus might come into play a little bit later. Oh man, adding yokai to the medallion all over again. Feels kind of nostalgic in a way. <laughs> Was the Krakakai captured your interest? Yeah, I want to try it again. You can. 
do just that. When you find more coins! Yes, the old Kranka Kai is really a fantastic device. By the way, have you noticed that yokai come from different tribes? Yeah, I was just talking about that. So, take this example for instance. Rashido is of the Brave Tribe, and, well, Jibanyan is of the Charming Tribe. And if you put yokai of the similar tribe together, they actually get a unity bonus. So, putting them together is a pretty smart idea. However, early on, you may find this a little tough to do, so don't worry about it until you get a little farther in the game. But the bonuses... They're actually pretty darn good, depending on the tribe that you link together. Take, for instance, Charming Tribe. If you link two yokai of the same tribe, it gives them a speed bonus, and the Brave get an increase in strength. It's honestly not bad, and I'm sure you'll befriend all different kinds of yokai. Yeah! Alright then, let's head home. What? We just got here! Come on! Alright, if you're the boss, Whisper. No, I'm the boss! I'm the video game protagonist! Whisper's not even here, technically! Just funny on, but before we go, this is a very special bonus. If you have played Yokai Watch 1, this guy will give you something very, very special. So before we go home, we want to talk to this gentleman and. Hey, yo! Huh? Are you curious about the capsule machine in front of the sacred tree? Um. No, not really. It's a troublesome thing. It doesn't take noble coins, you know. <laughs> Hang on just a sec. <laughs> I smelled some. <laughs> it smells like my farts. What? <laughs> Wait, I got it. It smells like a photo taken from the Yokai Cam. It's not a bony spirits or a fleshy souls pick. It's not from Yokai Watch 2 at all. It smells like <laughs> a photo taken from the Yokai Cam and Yokai Watch. Do you have a pic taken from Yokai Cam in the last Yokai Watch game? Uh, yeah, I do actually. So, this conversation will not activate unless you have a saved photo on your SD card on your 3DS. So, if you have access to Yokai Watch 1, just take a quick picture and you can get a special bonus. But yeah, we do, dude, and you do! Let me see it then! Alright, and. Oh, this is. This is definitely has the most famous Yokai Watch Cam smell! Oh, did you just fart? Um, oh dear, I was just so excited I couldn't hold that one in. Uh, 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 <laughs> I'll give you this. You should use it in the capsule machine. Uh, oh, thank you. All right, thanks for the select a coin plus. Awesome, well, so much for them being super rare. But yeah, if you have a saved photo to your SD card, you can get a free select a coin plus. So let's go try it at the cranky Con machine and see what we can get. And I already kind of know what we're going to get, and I'm really, really excited about it. And use the coin to get items. All right, here we go. Let's use a coin and get some rare yokai. But don't worry, you can actually get more select a coin pluses than just this one by talking to the guy each day. But here we go. First up, we got Komasan, who has a little purse. It's cool. I miss you, buddy, but uh, we'll get him later. Uh, we got Noko with a bow tie. Pretty great yokai to get early on in the game, I gotta say. Now a little bit overpowered, uh, not sure how I feel about that. And last but not least, Bushinyan, who is a C rank. Technically, the strongest of the three. And I'll be honest with you, this is the one I'm going to be picking because... Well, it's Whisper and Jibanyan. Why the heck wouldn't I get it and... Wait, if there, it's Whisper and Jibanyan... Uh, yeah, what the heck? It's empty. Well, they're already here. Are you sure there's really a yokai in here? <laughs> Can't really trust anything Whisper says. Come on, look very close. Um. Okay then. It's, is it the yokai? Oh no, we're not regaining memories. Oh, <laughs> that was the weirdest onomatopoeia for Jibanyan I could ever create. <laughs> But I guess they got sucked- no, not in the yokai watch, they got sucked inside the capsule! That's different and- I'm booshing ya! What? You're all mixed up! Yeah, I guess they are! Booshing <laughs> Oh gosh, that's so creepy, Whisper, but yeah, booshing is the mixture of Whisper and Jibanyan. And I love it so much, it's so adorable, but yeah, just like that, just for having the previous game, you can get a free yokai. Pretty darn cool. It's a pleasure to meet you, yeah. Charmed. Oh, it's like both of their voices together. <laughs> Where'd they go now? This is so cool, this is such a unique cutscene for just a normal yokai coming out of the- Where'd you guys come from, what the heck? Goodness, I wasn't sure what- 
What's going to happen? I'm in shock from being all sucked in like that, Nyan! Oh, wow! You were Bush and Yan? I guess so. Yeah. Uh, if you call with the yokai medal, I suppose we'll have to combine, but... Uh... Yeah, maybe we shouldn't do that too often and... Um, yeah. Ew. <laughs> My thoughts exactly. Alright, I, I don't think we'll be doing that too often, but yeah. The game says they'll combine, but no. He's just in your party all the time and his... Strength stat is actually super high. Increase own defense if dealt critical. Whoa, that's actually not a bad ability, but here's what he looks like. Pretty darn cool. He's of the Charming Tribe, so we actually want to move him up. And I'm actually going to move Brushido a bit down there so we can see our new yokai. But since he is a rare, he will actually get more stats over time compared to other C ranks. So that's why I decided to pick him up over Komasan and Noko. Although I kind of do want them to. I just want to get them all. But yeah, they have separate slots in the medallion. So keep talking to that guy and eventually you will get all three. But now that we've taken care of that, don't really know what we're supposed to do next. And hmm, how troubling. Person seems to be concerned about something. Nate, perhaps we should take a moment to chat with this poor soul. I mean, I can't put things to whisper you say so. And here is a tutorial on requests and favors. And they're actually pretty darn different. Basically, you can do a favor as many times as you want. But... Honestly, I haven't done too many favors, so I can't say how good they are, but some quests actually give fantastic rewards, so you really want to knock them out if you have the means to do so. And, well, some of them in the story are actually mandatory, so let's help this guy out. And after all, doing good for others makes everything feel nice. Gotta agree with that. And key at quest time. Yeah, so Yokai Watch 2 is a little bit different than its predecessor. Basically, before we can advance the story, we actually need to complete three key quests. And to unlock the remainder of the story, you need to finish all three keys, or you can't progress in. Oh jeez, I'm in trouble, what should I do? Look there, he's clearly in distress. Summon your courage and talk to him. You, you're right. Excuse me, are you okay? Uh, oh, I didn't see you there. I was just looking for a cicada. A cicada? My kid is really into cicadas. Like, really into them. I wanted to catch a special one for him for his birthday tomorrow. I've been trying for a while, but they're just so darn quick. A cicada has a birthday present. Rather a strange choice, I say. Teach his own. He can't ignore a person in need. We'll solve his problem in no time. Your extraordinary bug catching skills. Don't worry, I got this. Yeah, so basically just need to catch a cicada for this guy and he'll give us some stuff. Cool. What? Are you telling me you're gonna catch one? Those flying cicadas? That's right, leave it to me. All right, this is great. Thank you so much for your help. Oh, by the way, there are many kinds of cicadas, but I need a brown cicada. The brown cicada is, after all, the king of cicadas, but it doesn't have to be the rare kind. Actually, it's better if it's the isn't the rare kind, just a very normal looking one. Uh, this guy's kind of picky, not picky, and picky again. Nevertheless, very normal brown cicadas should be all over trees here. This should be easy. Let's go. And I'm kind of curious. I do believe we might have caught a cicada. And hey, shiny cicada, it's a very... Oh yeah, we actually caught a cicada earlier, so we can hand it over right now. Awesome. That's actually really convenient. Oh, you really helped me out. This will make my son so happy. <laughs> I'm glad. Catching this double cicada, it's really an amazing feat. You must be a cicada catch a professional, a cicada pro. As they say, of course, now that I've got a cicada, I'll be in the cage as a gift too. Man, thank you so much. Right, tomorrow's the cicada pro. This guy really likes his cicadas, man. I've never seen someone so happy about a single cicada before. Nevertheless, I think this feels good. It's great to make something this happy. That's right. Uh, all this talk about being professional reminds me there are a lot of professional in this world. And as you become a pro, you earn trophies. Trophies? What do you mean? I mean, there's an app for them in the yokai pad. Although, it might not really affect you yet. Someday, though, you can become a pro in, say, battling or bug catching, and that's a good reason to try and solve the app. Uh, okay, yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> sure. That means we need to help lots of people just like we helped that guy. Okay. We don't really have a reason to, but sure, why the heck not? In our first mission, a cicada professional has been finished. Oh, right. oh I thought it was going to say charmed. I guess they changed that. Uh, That's different. And okay, oh, Bushinyan's going to level up. And man, our team is climbing in the levels. I'm digging this. But now time to choose our reward. So unique to Yokai Watch 2, we can actually pick which item we want in a blood goal or a shrimp rice ball. I'm gonna have to go with the Bleggle. I think those heal for a bit more and more yokai like bread rather than rice balls. But okay, let's see the bonus scene. 
<laughs> oh. Hi, Desmeralda. And okay, we got the jackpot. So when you finish a quest, a little animation will play. And you can either get a jackpot, a bingo, or, oh my, we got an orange coin. That's actually really good. Dang. But yeah, or you get an oops, which doesn't really give a great reward. And oh, wow. <laughs> we just got a trophy, even though Whisper said we probably wouldn't get one for a while. But we got a colored Crankakai coin. When you get these coins in Yokai Watch, you can come back to the Crankakai and put them inside the machine to get special, exclusive yokai and items too. I really hope I don't get an item, but yeah, we have an orange coin, which means we're probably gonna get either a tough yokai or something not really that great. You can also get food in here, and ah oh man, looks like I'm gonna get food. Oh wait, I didn't get food at all. I got hidden hits. That's actually a really good book early on. I'll take that. I would have preferred, you know, a golden capsule containing an S rank yokai, but you know what? We all can't be choosers. Well, I mean, beggars can't be choosers. We can all be beggars, but then nothing will really get. I don't really know what I'm saying, guys. Thank you all so much for checking out this episode of Yokai Watch 2. We got Bushin on in a really unexpected way. And in the next episode, we're going to head back into town and knock out some key quests. So see you guys then. Bye.